Hey guys, today's product focus is all about EBMX power mods. I'm going to start with the X9000. Let's talk about what you get out of the box. First things first, use the card in the box to your advantage. There is a lot of great information on this card. There's an installation video, an app guide, a link to the Facebook community. Use this to your advantage. Do not throw this away. You're probably going to need it later. Next thing is the controller itself, and under that, all the accessories that are required for installation. So what's included besides the controller? We have harnesses for Lightbee and Teleria Sting in the box, as well as the thumb throttle for region. We have the display, and we have a Bluetooth wire for the comms for the app itself. Let's talk about the differences in between the version one and V2 of the X9000. You'll notice here on the side, that it says powered by CYC. That's a good indicator that it's a version two. There's lower tabs have been cut off, maybe a little bit cleaner install on a skid plate. And then one of the comms cables has been beefed up a little bit to make it even more waterproof. The biggest difference internally from version one to version two is it went from 900 phase amps to 1,000 phase amps due to additional capacitors being added. If you have a gen one, don't fret. We're all running Gen 1 on our bike. Still an incredible controller. You're not going to feel like you've been left behind. It will continually update inside the app just like everything else. EBMX will continue to provide the exact same support for version 1 as version 2, everything moving forward. This is simply an iteration. It's getting incrementally better over time. So a few key stats that I'm just going to read off of the back, the ones you really care about. It is rated for input voltage 48 volts through 84. That means it's going to work in the Light BS and some of the smaller bikes that are out there, including these monster Ultra Bs that we're running and even bigger full size dirt bike conversions if you ever want. Peak input power now is rated at 40 kilowatts, although we know we can run even a little bit more than that. Uh, max phase current, 1000 amps. Max battery current, 500 amps. That's enormous. For all these specs and more, check out the description below or head over to our website. So the biggest thing that I love about the X9000 is the compatibility with all the other products in the market. We're going to talk about the EBMX motors in just a minute, but let me read through a list of all the motors that you can also run on the X9000 that you will see in the EBMX app. Surin Light B, Surin Ultra B, Socian Motor, Torp, Teleri MX3, MX4, KO RS, KO F spec, ME1803, QS138, more. The list just goes on and on. Plus, they're continually working on additional tunes and motors that are going to come out. As an example, the uh, Teleria Triple X tune will be out soon. The Apollo RFN, Beta Explorer, Falcon 79. All these bikes are going to continue to come out. EBMX is going to support them all. If you've jumped onto the Facebook group, the X9000 owners community, you'll see that people are asking compatibility and for tunes for all these different configurations out in the market. Jared and team are jumping on, helping in real time. So EBMX has become a powerhouse in the power upgrade arena, right? They've had batteries for several years. Now they have some of the strongest motors out in the market. We're running them on our race bikes, pushing them about as hard as we possibly can. And it's pretty unreal how the RPMs just keep climbing. We keep getting new tunes for higher power output so fast that we're having to upgrade every other aspect of the bike just to make it keep up with how fast things have become. So like all products we sell, we're gonna continue testing these to find their limit. We've got them on several of our race bikes. Stay tuned, we're gonna continue to create additional videos and detailed specs, real world testing, putting these things through their paces. In the meantime, check this out.
So that light bee you just watched was at Glen Helen on the vet track, absolutely flying around that. I don't think most dirt bike guys could keep up with that. Some of the specs that are on Brett's bike is a 72 volt, 42 amp hour race battery. Gen 1 X9000 controller, the EBMX XLB60 light B motor, and it's tuned to about 30 kilowatts. So all this power is not really worth that much if you can't control it. So one of the biggest things we've noticed about the X9000 controller is how smooth the throttle feel is. For all you wheelie guys out there, it's really tough to beat the throttle modularity of this controller. So his bike being tuned to 30 kilowatts would not be possible without this motor. So let's get into that. The specs that you really care about in the light beam motor, 35 kilowatts peak, that's incredible. 13,000 RPMs, revs to the moon. Max efficiency, 93%. And all of that is possible because of a larger 60 millimeter stator. It's a little bit wider, it's a little bit heavier. The internals are really beefed up. Most critically, it can handle the heat that we're constantly throwing at this motor and it just keeps giving more and more. And now for the big brother, the XUB80 Ultra B motor that I happen to be racing. It's a larger 80 millimeter stator. It can peak at 40 kilowatts. It revs up to 12,000 RPMs. And probably most importantly, again, it can handle the heat that we're throwing at it, whether you're running a 72 volt or an 80 volt battery. So what you probably really care about you can push these motors way harder, way faster for longer because they can handle the heat. What I care about is that instant torque. So one of the really interesting stats that we can fill in all of our testing, when you come out of a turn really hard from a dig, the light beam motor has 64 Newton meters of torque at 1,000 phase amps. That's with the new version two. The larger Ultra B motor it's incredible, 72 Newton meters. So what that means on my race bike, it doesn't matter if I'm on my 72 volt or my 80 volt battery at any point, if I just get onto it too hard, even at speed, the front end's coming up because it's monster power, monster torque. We've been working with EBMX for several years now. I love that they are dedicated to creating one product suite for the Light B and then a bespoke kit for the Ultra B as well. That allows them to fine tune to each particular bike. And as you can see from all of our testing, as you will see in future videos of us riding, testing, racing, the results basically, they speak for themselves. So you can see the X9000 comes in five different colors. So do the motors for the Ultra B and the Light B. So you can mix and match those, coordinate it with your bike scheme however you want. Behind the scenes, you probably haven't realized that we're running these products on our bikes. You're gonna see them in more videos moving forward. And you're gonna see real world testing where we're gonna show you the output of us pushing these as absolutely hard as we can in different scenarios. Trail rides, racing our light bees, me racing my Ultra B against dirt bikes. Again, put, putting them through the hardest tests that we can imagine, including things like top speed and maybe even getting into efficiency. So even if you're not racing, but you want to get a motor because you care about efficiency, they are 93% efficient. So comparing that to a stock light B motor that has a little bit more drag, these are gonna get you better range and they're gonna be able to give you better and higher top speed because of the way they were built. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Let us know what you want to see and make sure to subscribe for more as we continue to test these. And we'll see you next time.